And uh, yeah, in the meantime, let me just pull this up. But yes, we have so many things to cover today. Like, so many things to freaking do. But yes, let's start with Genshin first. So Genshin just recently drip marketed the 5.1 characters. Because, you know, 5.0 comes out tomorrow, which I will be playing day one. And yeah, we've seen this character before. It's uh, Zilonen. The uh, Leopard Lady, as I like to call her. From the trailer we saw, uh, revealing all the uh, Nalan characters. And it seems like it's just her for 5.1. So I'm excited. <laughs> her design looks fucking sick. She looks absolutely hot. And she's a Geo character some more. So I'm going to be interested to see what she's like going to bring to the table in terms of Geo characters. I mean, I'm basically a collector for the Geo characters at this point in the game. I collect Ito. I collected Chiori. Like, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to be pulling for her 100% just to complete the Geo collection. But damn, her design is absolutely... Oh my god. <laughs> Yep, we'll be pulling for in 5.1. And weirdly enough, it seems like that's it for 5.1. It's just her. No uh, Chaska, no Sitlani, uh, I, uh, Sitlali. I, I, I hope I'm saying their names right, by the way. <laughs> because if I'm not, then oh well. And then we also have, um, yes, a, a review of the artifacts that are coming in 5.0 as well. Which we can take a look at first before we get into the Star Rail stuff. And then we also have... Um, like a few trailers here and there we can watch and then like after that we'll get into the star real stuff but yeah let's take a look at the 5.0 artifacts here okay two piece while the creeping character is in the night soul blessing or is in night soul's blessing and it's on the field their damage is increased by 15 percent okay i'm not sure what night soul blessing is but i'm assuming it's like a new effect that's gonna be a natlin and then four piece set after the equipping character consumes one night soul points while on the field crit rate increases by 40 percent for six seconds fuck what 40 percent crit rate yo okay that's uh that's about to be a busted piece i'm not sure what the night soul um thing is supposed to be but i'm sure we'll learn more once we're actually in natlin so that, that this artifact said it's gonna be like the Martrosi Hunter of uh, Natlin, I see. And then, uh, okay, this one has a very lengthy description, so I guess we should like zoom in here. Okay, so yeah, the earlier one is called Obsidian Codex, and this one's called Scroll of the Hero of the Cinder City. 2P said, when a nearby party member triggers Night Soul Burst, the equipping character gets six energy. Okay. That's not too bad, I'd say. That's basically like an energy refund. And then 4P set. After the equipping character triggers a reaction related to their elemental type, all nearby party members gain a 12% elemental damage bonus for the elemental types involved in uh, in the elemental reactions for 15 seconds. If the equipping characters in the Night Soul Blessing stay when triggering this effect, all party members gain an additional 28% elemental damage bonus for the elemental types involved in the elemental reaction for 20 seconds? Are you shit? What? Wait, what? After you trigger a reaction all elemental types involved in the reaction will get a 12 percent damage bonus and then furthermore while in the night soul blessing state whatever that is that's not the 40 percent elemental damage boost what are you are, are you shitting me that is crazy strong what the hell the equipping character can trigger th this effect while off field and damage bonus from artifact sets with the same name do not stack okay so and okay this applies to the whole party mind you not just the, the equipping character just the whole party what so I can just slap this on my Toma, and he will be supporting my entire... T what? What? Th that is just a really, really busted effect. What the hell? Okay, this is going to be the new broken set of uh, of, of Genshin. This is going to be the freaking Matrosi Hunter set now. <laughs> like, this overtakes that at that point. What? Just a free 40% elemental damage bonus. I'm not... Uh, okay, still not sure what the Night Soul Blessing state is even is but i hope to figure out like sooner or later because what the hell if that state is like easy to get then this then these two sets are absolutely mad busted no matter how you look at it it's absolutely fucking disgusting how 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 broken these are holy shit and then of course we have yeah there are two trailers here we have, we can watch which is a uh, kachina's trailer and also malani's uh, character trailer as well which is going to be different from our character demo. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm looking at in uh, Moalani's uh, character trailer here, but we'll, we'll watch it here in a second here. We'll watch it here in a second. But yeah, <laughs> there's your 5.0 news coming up, uh, or 5.1 for Zilonen, and then 5.0, the artifact details and whatnot. But yes, let's get into uh, the Star Rail drop marking section here. But yes, if you haven't heard by now, yeah, the Star Rail 2.5 special program is set to uh, debut on Friday. Yeah, this coming Friday, we'll get 2.5 details regarding the story and also probably regarding Fei Xiao and also Mose and Lingxia as well. And I cannot wait for that. But 
<laughs> to tease some more what's coming in 2.6, Star Rail, the Mad Lads themselves, decide to put out the drip marketing before the special program even goes live. And for Star Rail, there it is. Oh yeah, by the way, the Sparkle uh, Fumos are actually coming. They're actually being like made as we speak. I'm gonna get one 100%. But here we go, our next character that's coming in Star Rail, Rappa. <laughs> Just, that, that's literally her name, Rappa. <laughs> what? And she's imaginary air Oh my god, we're getting so many imaginary characters. What the hell? What in the actual shit? Okay, so yeah, they, she's obviously teased for 2.6. What region is she supposed to be from? Dude, look at her design. She has like a hat with like oni horns. Yeah, she basically is dressed like a rapper. Like what? <laughs> Where's she from? Hang on, I want to read this here for a second here. What? Oh, she's from Panacone. A peculiar little girl who appears in Panacone like a flashbang. Oh, okay. As a member- wait, what? As a member of the Galaxy Rangers, she relentlessly pursues the villain known as Evil Ninja Orasu, chasing them to the very edge of- She's a Galaxy Ranger and a rapper? What the shit? <laughs> Hello? What? Oh, okay, wow. Well, I was not expecting this type of character for, for Star Rail. Like, what in the actual hell? <laughs> and, yeah, imagine the edition. That's, a, like, the first of its kind, I believe. What? Her character design looks so, so cool. Oh, I'm obviously gonna need more details before I decide to pull for her or not, but holy damn. What is our weapon? Is that, like, a... I, I can't tell what her weapon is right now. It's, like, a double-edged dagger or something, it seems. What? Okay, and this is like the only first character review for 2.6. We're probably going to get another one tomorrow. Damn, though. What the hell? I was not expecting drip marketing this early and this kind of character to be drip marketed. What the absolute fuck? Yeah, she has like the long ponytail and everything. Just like... I want to know more about her. I want to know more about her. I absolutely want to know more about her. And gotta say, yeah, that, that the drip of hers is fucking immaculate. Can't wait for her to be, uh, you know, further revealed in uh, in 2.6. But yeah, I think that's it for the drip marking for uh, Star Rail. Let's watch the last trailers of Natlin before Natlin is officially out. Okay, so we yeah we got two trailers to react to: Kachinas and Moilani's. And Moilani's looks. I don't know what I'm looking at honestly. <laughs> but we'll, we'll watch Kachinas first, and then Moilani's uh, afterwards. And yeah, just. Just see like what they're all about and whatnot. But okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and watch Kachina's trailer first. A shivering dance of stone, and yeah, Kachina's a free character you get at the beginning of Natlin, I believe, and she's also a Geo character as well. So I'm probably gonna be building her. But yeah, let's uh, watch uh, Kachina's trailer first things first. Let's let's go. <laughs> oh damn, this music's loud. Okay, let me turn that down a bit. Dude, Nala looks so pretty. Your footsteps told me you were coming. <laughs> okay, her voice is a bit. <laughs> By the way, would you like to visit my home sometime? I honestly expected a higher pitched voice. Kachina, yeah. <laughs> you played to a bunch of countries in Tibet, so you must know a lot of legends, right? I like the little ear she has, honestly. Do you think there's any shiny? But even before they like revealed to be like hair or something. <laughs> we could do a quick dig just to check. Yeah, these enemy yeah. designs look sick, by the way, in that one. The dinosaur people, I, I freaking love them. <laughs> oh yeah, is she, um, she's Geopolar, right? Yeah. Oh damn, this music, though. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love that one of her skills are just basically just jumping on the enemy. <laughs> really? Sorry, but I can't really hey, Teenage as well, yo. Let me just cover them. I'm gonna be pulling for all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna be pulling for all of them. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. I want them. I, I want all of them, including uh, Zilonen in uh, two in five point one. I cannot wait. She's death scaling since we have a death pole arm. Okay, I seen the uh, death uh, pole arm. So that's for okay. That's for Kachina. Okay. I wonder if she's gonna be like useful in combat, like like someone like Kale was. Like, maybe she's not going to be, like, top-tier meta character, but I can see her at least being, like, maybe somewhat useful in a Geo team comp. But yeah, that's an adorable little trailer there. I kind of like that one for idols is just, like, her just break dancing as well. Again, because it, it does really just seem like Natlin is a nation of dancing with uh, both Moilani and, Ka and uh, Kajina. And now we have Moilani's one, which uh, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. What What is she? Is, is she in, like, a, a bodysuit or something? Like, what is that? Is she, is she wearing... <laughs> yeah, this one's uh, twice as long as, as Kachina's here, so I'm excited to see what this is all about. And also, it's voiced by one of my favorite voice actors of all times. Like, 
well, one of the ones I'm more familiar with, which is uh, Cassandra Lee Morris, who, if you don't know, voices um, Morgana in Persona 5 and also Sothis in Fire Emblem Three Houses, which are two of my pretty much uh, favorite JRPGs of all time. And yeah, I cannot wait for her, honestly. I, I'm going to be pulling her day one, obviously. I'm going to be 100% just going all in on her, uh, hoping I win the 50-50, honestly. But uh, yeah, I, I'm just excited for her. I can... Her design looks so, so adorable, and uh, she's pretty much... Kind of like Yoimiya's personality-wise. Kind of like the Yoimiya of Natlin, yeah. And yeah, cannot wait to see her in the Natlin story quests. Once I do get to it, obviously. But yeah, without further ado, <laughs> let's uh, also watch Moilani's uh, trailer here. But okay, let's uh, get watching Moilani's uh, trailer here. The ultimate sightseeing experience. Oh boy, what <laughs> what is going to be shown in this trailer? <laughs> oh, Kevin Barras! <gasps> Oh my god, what the heck is this music? Okay, I, I like her already. <laughs> Five seconds in, yes, I'm pulling for her. Bring out the debit card. <laughs> Moalani! Aw. Oh, Moalani, okay, that's how you. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Oh, look at those capybaras, let me keep one. Sorry. <laughs> I hate to stop it right here now, but... Uh, did you guys watch that recent short? Like, uh, one of the shorts from, uh, the Genshin Impact YouTube channel regarding these guys? Like, the llamas? Yeah, um... Needless to say, um... Uh, <laughs> I'll show you guys here in a second, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see these llamas in a very different light now. Or alpacas, yeah, they are alpacas. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love that yeah, she can just run over enemies with her fucking... Thanks, dude! Oh, <laughs> thanks, Kinich! You almost a boy in Shark Girls, so that's a late. First Ellen, now her. Why is Hoyo making me love sharks now? I generally hope we can just skate on her fucking shark non-stop throughout, like, the entirety of Natlin, honestly. Oh, is that a pufferfish he has? I'm assuming that's what it is. Whoa, okay, this music, though, is giving me goosebumps. Oh, that's what- oh, she's working- Is she wearing a pufferfish for <laughs> Yeah, you see what I mean? She's like. She's almost the same as Yoi Mia personality wise. Oh god, this music seems to be like good goosebumps. Like, holy shit. This is like the first actual character demo of Nana that I'm fucking loving it so far. Whoa, so many jellyfish. Ah, so many shorts. Here we are. Oh. Did you have fun? Of course you did. Catch you on the next one! And then, <laughs> Mualani freaking... Uh, Mualani freaking murders those birds. Like, we murdered Tammy's pigeons. Ah, yes, the perfect balance. Uh, as long as we play Genshin, we will always keep bullying Timmy. That's <laughs> that's the main rule. Also, yeah, um, Mualani is a catalyst, right? I, I keep thinking she's Bo for some reason. But yeah, she has a little, like, W engine as her uh, catalyst weapon. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a great trailer. Honestly, the music was so so good. Like, what were they cooking with this damn trailer? Oh my god, the music was freaking amazing. Yep, pulling for her one hundred percent. Pulling for her day one. I'm going all in. Uh, uh, well, not all in. I, I'm gonna get to C zero, but that's it. I'm not gonna get her to C six like some other YouTubers will. <laughs> I'm not that rich. Oh wait, those are penguins. Oh yeah, they were. <laughs> Here we are. Oh my god. Yeah, this one thing Natlin is, like, very, very good at is, like, expanding, like, the wildlife of Genshin. Like, this this nation is so, like, vast, uh, like, wildlife-based. Uh, like, yeah, you got these, like, dinosaur giraffes or whatever. The penguins, the freaking capybaras at the very beginning. Like, look at these guys. Please tell me we can keep them. <laughs> please tell me we can keep one, like, in a certain teapot, please. Oh, my God, I just realized each of them has, like, a little finch on top of their heads as well. That's so adorable. Oh, my goodness. I, I might spend, like... 90% of Natlin just uh, being in photo mode, honestly. Because, yeah, look, look, 
at all these little guys. How could you not love them? Yeah, I feel like this na this nation really wants me to pull for the animals more than the characters, honestly. <laughs> also, I just didn't realize the flying squirrels as well. Look at them. It's so adorable. Please. Please, Hoyo, let us keep them. Nana's such a vibe, it made me return to Genshin. Honestly, yeah. The, this is such a breath of fresh air from the other regions, honestly. I know we kind of expected this nation to be covered in war and be like covered in like volcanoes and lava, but I'm honestly gr glad that um, Genshin went in this direction because Genshin always loves to expand upon like, you know, the beauty of like their regions although i will i am confident that we will get like volcano and lava regions at, at some other point in time because because yeah for like inazuma for sumeru um like they start off with like the beautiful parts of their regions but then later on they introduce like the more harsher regions like inazuma they introduce like the uh, the furnace and also the uh Seirai island and whatnot which is like covered in disaster and whatnot and then you know for sumero they introduce the desert later on which was you know not as friendly as the uh, the rainforest so i'm confident they will introduce more harsher elements uh like environments of genshin at uh, of natlin at some point but as of right now we can just enjoy the main beauty that is like the natlin region which i am very much much glad about but okay that is uh <laughs> that is my reaction to both uh moalani's and uh kachina's uh, trailers here ah man i cannot wait i cannot wait it's gonna be great i'm gonna be playing it day one tomorrow and uh once again i will be holding off on doing the main story for uh Natland until i'm at a much freer point in time that that could be like either a week or two weeks after release but yeah i'll, I'll play i'll definitely play the uh yeah Natland main story like eventually hopefully by then you guys should be done with it and yeah once you're done you can just come and watch me and see how i react to you act one and act two and whatnot but okay it's time for us to get actually back into the game here and uh you know actually play star real and, and uh zenless Ooh, yeah.